Hey there, it's Bill here, I'm the YouTuber. You uh, must be tire shopping since you stopped by, or you're a subscriber and just uh, wanted to see another weird video that I made. Anyways, what I'm talking about today is uh, some lawn tractor tires. Specifically, Manly Lawn Tractor Tires. Oh, that sun is getting it. I think it's getting it. Anyways, I bought these ones three... Yep, that's old Swamp Thing. If you watch any of the old goofy videos. Uh, these tires that I purchased, can you see them? That damn sun. I got these two years ago. Actually, it would have been the third winter, I think, this last year. So three winters. They're finally starting to get a little torn up, but we had a lot of ice. A lot of ice, and I was hard on them. I didn't have enough weights on the weight stack one or two times they were buried under snow I couldn't find the rest of them anyway these I think they call them lug lug tires some uh, chevrons I think that's another similar type uh, agricultural tractor egg AG tires I bought these for $48 a piece almost three years ago. Well, it's two and a half, three, right around there. On Amazon, 48 bucks. And they are W D T brand. I don't know who makes them. Probably Chinese. I think I looked. I don't think I've seen it any spot. Anyways, the size are 20 by 10 by 8. That's right. They're just little, little 8 inch rims. I cleaned up an old rusty set painted them 48 bucks at the time that was the cheapest I could find them for um yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the other side or not WDT I think I figured out what brand that was in the past But anyways, I looked recently, and they're out of stock. It seems like they're not selling them anymore, on Amazon anyways. And that price three years ago, at $48, that was the cheapest around. I looked through Amazon, eBay, and Walmart.com, and... Amazon had them the cheapest, which I was surprised because most of the time when I do my shopping it seems like eBay wins, but it does go back and forth, so it does pay to shop around, as they say. That damn sun. I guess I was going to compare these tractor tread tires. Two, what was on it originally were these guys. This is actually the exact tires that I had on the Dynamark, which is kind of neat because these Craftsman tractors, they have the thicker axles, the uh, three-quarter three -quarter axles. 
which is kind of funny because the Dynamark was a fairly cheap tractor. But yet it has parts on it that are built like a bigger tractor. The front spindles are also bigger than the cheaper ones. So it's built more like a craftsman or a mid-range tractor, I guess you'd say, lawn tractor. These old tires that were on it were 20 by 8 by 8. So it did upsize them a little. 20 by 10 by 8 is what the lug tires were. And I guess I was going to say what I thought about the traction as far as chains go versus like the agricultural tires, the bar tread tires. I would give chains on tires probably out of 10 points a 9.5 to 10. I could go almost anywhere on the Dynamark with the chains. Granted you had a lot of weight but the reason why I wanted to get rid of these to the tractor lugs was because of the ride. The stiff ride. Very bumpy. And these are actually I think are the more expensive chains I believe I think the cheaper ones are actually missing one link so then you got more it's like you're driving on an octagon tire sort of so I figured I wanted to try the bar tread and it is a lot smoother ride on the bar tread traction I would say went down to a 8.5 to 9 uh, when I had all my weights on, it was more like a 9, 9.5. If you had the traction, the bar tread tires, I think, would probably go almost anywhere as well. So I was thinking of doing what my friend actually has done. You fill up the tires with uh, antifreeze. I think antifreeze is the way to go, or some kind of calcium solution, but I think the calcium eats away the steel rims. Or, uh, yeah, I think my friend used antifreeze, so this summer, I, this fall, I might fill them up. Then I'll have even more weight, then I'll probably start <laughs> busting up my transmission, though. I'm actually surprised the transmission in this is still holding up because she has been abused. This plow, I think, is bent on the front now. A little bit one way. I cannot figure out where it's bent, though. That's the funny thing. It leans down on one side just a little bit more. Oh, and these front tires. Got these off eBay. These were just... I think they're snowblower tires. They help a lot too from keeping the front slide sideways when there's a lot of weight when you're really pushing the snow. I guess that's all I wanted to say for now. Boop, boop. Who does that? Who really does that? So, anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want and, uh, also, don't forget about that cowbell button. Jam that cowbell button so you can get notified when I upload upload some weird videos or knowledgeable or achievements. Oh, who's coming over here? Is that mini? It's a mini chicken. My mini. <laughs> Talk to you later. Have a good day.